Our vision for 145 Analytics in 2020 is twofold. Adding more data to the system and organizing the data to answer questions about how your program and learners are performing. We have added a number of data sources, including exam data from ExamSoft and NBME CAS. If your institution is one of those that uses both platforms for exams, this is a big win as you can now compare exams from both systems in one place. We also added new gateway exam data, including CBSE Step 1, CCSE, and Step 2. Working closely with the MBME, we have built integrations for all of these gateway exams. The exam performance and gateway data dashboards let you quickly scan and review the most up-to-date results. When new exam data comes in, you quickly see how a cohort performed and review to find outliers. For course evaluations data, we have added the ability to embellish the data, allowing customers to add questions on their evaluations to categories. These categories provide new dimensions on which to organize and examine the data. Our course composition integration uses the 145 curriculum module to import information about your curriculum into analytics. The data can be used to report on instructional hours and instructional methods along many dimensions, including academic year, phase, or course. On the learner summary dashboard from one place, you can review the details of how a learner performed on the MCAT, their step exams, and grades. You can jump deeper into each section to see more detailed information. We have also added new dashboards that allow you to dive into specific data sources. These detailed dashboards provide more space to look at the data in different ways and with new visualizations. We have improved the ability to segment data in the system. If you've ever wondered how learners from a given admission program with an MCAT score in a certain range and an engineering degree compare with learners who matriculated last year, analytics can help answer that question. You simply add filters to segment the population you're interested in and then review the data for that segment. If you want to revisit the segment in the future, you can create a bookmark that remembers the selections you made so you can get back to them again quickly. Finding low performers in 145 Analytics is easy as well. Here you can see which learners have grades that are below low performance or passing thresholds. And you can see how many grades these students have that are low performing and also review how far below the threshold those scores were. If you have a particular learner in mind, you also can navigate to a student-based low performance dashboard from the learner review dashboard. This is convenient if you're already in the process of reviewing a learner and want to dip in to review where they might have had some difficulty. Admissions data can provide interesting insights into the makeup of your student body. If you want to track which students matriculated from a special program, our admissions data integration puts this information into the hands of people who haven't always had easy access. This year, we've standardized how we gather and report on admissions data, adding many new fields to have a better understanding of who your learners are. We've expanded the capacity for grades reporting by setting up a system to automate importing grades data from spreadsheet files shared through a secure FTP connection. Importing directly from files solves the common problem of importing grades that aren't stored in the system of record. We've automated the process for importing and designed the integration to be flexible, accommodating different formats to make the process as seamless as possible. With all of the improvements mentioned, you can now organize data to answer questions about how your program and learners are performing. Sometimes you need access to the data itself. Maybe you just need the data for a research study or to share with a colleague. All of our visualizations support the ability to export to Excel. All of the data sources and reporting improvements we've added this year were results of close collaboration with our customers. We will be adding more data integrations and continuing to look for novel ways to present that data to tell the story of your institutions. Thank you for watching.